Now, did you know if you travel to Italy fresh out of high school and you're still a teenager, they let you buy wine? There are countries more free than the land of the free. Imagine our surprise. So there we were when all the reasonable people had gone to bed and we had a front row seat as to why that type of freedom isn't actually allowed in America. The group of drunk and unruly Russians about our age, they were destroying everything in sight. They started to ravage these unsuspecting bicycles. They weren't in our self-interest. They had nothing to do with America's self-interest at all, but they weren't the Russians' business either. So there we were, teenage American, trying to decide our foreign policy on Russians bullying inanimate objects in the dead of night. And at that moment, my friend Corey, he became our president. And he decided the red line was those bicycles and there was to be a foreign relations speech that night. It went like this. Four score and Seven years ago, I too had a bicycle. Wasn't that regal at all? It was more like this. This is Bolshevik. Leave those bikes alone, you communist. The silence that followed was deafening. We were shocked. <laughs> they turned to face us and they sounded like diehard villains if I've ever heard one. <laughs> they didn't understand a lick of English. We didn't understand a lick of Russian. This, this could have been a real dangerous situation or a fun one. We had zero idea. Now, these Russians were tough guys, right? And you didn't have to be bilingual or bi to understand that. But I did not feel equipped to fight a international conflict that night. Armed with American exuberance, enhanced by French wine amongst the backdrop of Florence architecture. But we were Americans and Corey was our president. And Corey didn't have much of a military. It was a mixed gender crew. We kind of resembled more the cast of Stranger Things, but without an 11. But Corey was undeterred. He had great courage, you see. You have to realize we were in front of a marble fountain older than America herself. And Corey shouted, listen! And he had their full attention, if not their comprehension. Ronald Reagan kicked your ass in the 80s and we're about to kick it again right now. I don't know where he came up with this. I don't know what their reaction was. We were so excited. I think one of my friends holds Corey's arm up like the referee on Rocky after the Russian was pushed out. It was crazy. We were so excited the Russians got excited. They started jumping up and down. International relations were healed that night. It was an amazing performance. One that cannot even be given justice, but I thought I should try. Now, I wish you all were there. If I was there, I realized what I'd do is I'd pull myself aside and I'd say, Jake, pay closer attention to everything. Let the dumb stuff go. Celebrate every moment with more love, more laughter. It fills everything. I call it the Cory Doctrine.